Am and Nuchan, Sha, a two school of Lian, Jan Forward and Jamma that are near the Scamager Latvid. After all, like James Sweetman, the belly practical on Clilo, Ags Fanacht, and a Mohor cart. So it's the third week of January, and everybody is kind of slipping back into the old habits, finding it really hard to keep their resolutions. But, James, you have solid advice to yes. stay on track. Yes, I'm not a fan of the word resolutions. Uh, the word promises works so much better. Promises? Promises. You know, we'll make promises to other people and we'll feel bad if we don't follow through on them. So it's the same principle applied to ourselves. Another key one, and I think this is perhaps most important, is it's all about progress. You know, so many of us, Roisin, run a pattern of perfectionism. Like, I'm only doing this if it's going to work out perfectly. You know, oh, I'm going to exercise five days a week, or, you know, I'm, I'm going to find that new job. And, and that's terrific. They're noble intentions to have. But it is about making progress. What's measurable steps forward for me? And it's not about being perfect, because there's no such thing. And then the last one, when it comes to resolutions or promises or a goal focus, it's, it's making something that's much more personal to you, almost precious. You know, so many resolutions that people mouth in January are the same old, same old platitudes. You know, oh, I want a new job, or I want to lose weight. You know, but can you interpret that in a way that just feels much more personal and much more precious to you? Where maybe you're not even sharing it with other people. You know, it's an internal promise that you've made to yourself. Gomenik Freshenik, Tusna Brina, Bingalora and Keshtu, on seal at Ayn, on Shli Beha, on Shli Malchdala, on post. Agus agira beidir, ni smu sasa parsenta a wain tesa seal. Well, darla sweet man, ma tu tu agira sasa seem noch unatain, sasa le de heel. Kaha tu tu sa tia hurt go de hurt luch on a parsenta a hugan shed. Noro di a ta tavoch de hurt. When we look at fulfillment, it goes down to like what fills me up, and that's always you know it can be the little things in life, you know, just those moments, those precious moments. Uh, and then you're also paying attention to like what's important to me in life and does my daily schedule or my weekly schedule reflect what's important to me in life? Yeah, of course, in the short term, we, we have to do what we have to do. But I think without that awareness, life can very quickly become a to-do list. How do you know, how do you find out what's valuable to you? Brain, brainstorm it, you know, write it, family, health, finances, whatever different people will enjoy different things, you know, whether that's the property market or flowers or baking. And you might necessarily be aligning that immediately with your profession. But if that's what you enjoy doing, how can you spend more time doing it for the pure benefit of it just makes you feel good? In terms of career fulfillment, the job you're supposed to do, um, can you get fulfillment in a career, in a job? There's a great question that we can reflect on, particularly when we have a bit of experience behind us and we've maybe been in the world of work for a few years. And that question is, what do I want my career to do for me? Because that sheds a light on some of the criteria or values that's important to me when it comes to career fulfillment. You know, like most of us will say, oh, I want to be happy in my career. I want career satisfaction. But what does that mean for me? We need to look at the values and what lights me up when it comes to work. Mushin Mata to Aurasov in Shona will to go to the heel, like a lorog fragri on the Hiroru, Kahatu of Adach, Adach Futain, like a Gestach Latin, Skohardage of a Gestach, the Hut Mohon. I think, Roshin, ultimately what people are after here is a great, is a sense of clarity or certainty. You know, am I doing the right thing? And of course, no one outside of you will tell you if you're doing the right thing or not. Your own emotions, your own internal wisdom. Uh, will we'll let you know. They will be the, the guidelines. But if we're looking for greater clarity, there's a few other C words we pay attention to. Uh, the first one is curiosity. You know, what's possible for me? Just a little bit of wider thinking so that we think ahead maybe over the next year, two years, five years. What's possible for me? And contrast is something that life gives us all the time. And by contrast, I mean what do I want more of? What do I want less of? What do I really enjoy? What do I want to steer away from? Because there is no end point to it. But I often think those two 
pieces of contrast are like handrails that allow us to move forward feeling a little bit more certain.